Hello, this is Al Edlin. This is the second video in the Package Visio set of presentations. Once again, we're looking at Package Visio, which is a sandbox uh, solution developed to examine how Visio 2013 has implemented the Open Office Packaging Standards. As we mentioned in the first video, we're also going to use Office Professional Plus 2013 in this. The reason we're using that is it gives us access to Excel, which we're going to use as part of our demo for creating uh, structured drawings. Let's look at the Excel workbook first. The Excel workbook has um, three worksheets in it. <clears throat> the first one is a list of shapes that we want to place on the page. Uh, along with the list of shapes, we have the master shapes that we want to apply to this, as well as the location, the pin X and pin Y. The second worksheet in our presentation uh, is how we're going to connect the shapes together. We have a begin shape name, we have a connection point on the begin shape, and we have an end shape and its corresponding uh, connection point. Finally, our third worksheet uh, has the list of connections, or rather the shapes, as well as the uh, shape data that we want to apply to these shapes. Uh, as a point, we are not using data record sets or data linking in this demo. It, it's purely reading the Excel worksheet in and then applying the data to the shapes. So let's close this. Let's go into uh, Visual Studio for a moment. Well, before we do that, let's go to um, how the uh, documents are uh, built. Uh, if we start off with a document, once again, uh, they have four-letter extensions now to, to let us know whether there's included code or not and for macros and VSDX being the standard format. Uh, if we rename uh, the file as to zip, just as in other open office packaging solutions, we can open the uh, document and we'll see a tree structure of directories and XML files that describe how the uh, document is to be processed. Visio, of course, has its own directory. We can open that and see the masters and pages, which are uh, specifically formatted for the Visio solution and how Visio will read them. Now we can go over to Visual Studio. Within Visual Studio, the solution is built on a series of uh, uh, folders where I try to keep functions together with classes, uh, modules, and, and forms. The reason I brought us over to this at this time was I wanted to show the resources. Within the resources, I've defined a, a group of template XML files. And the reason I did this is to relieve us of, of creating these files individually, line by line, or storing them within, uh, in some cases, the appropriate class libraries. Uh, the exception to this is within the shape class, I've got uh, a couple of templates that I use to create, uh, and we'll see it later, rectangles and, and shapes. So moving on, let's go into the application. Uh, we looked at Explore last time. Uh, this time we're going to look at Demo. I tried to set this up as a group of individual tasks. Uh, the first two tasks are building an empty package, which creates our uh, tree structure of directories and, and the necessary core uh, XML files. Uh, because we'll be drawing later on uh, documents that take advantage of masters, uh, we have a separate task for loading masters into our XML document and, in addition, adding a window. Uh, we have a pull-down for single pages. This allows us to create drawings of single pages so we can test the individual tasks. Uh, simple shape, what we do is on uh, in our blank document, we add two rectangles and a connector to page one just to show that we can write. What we're going to do is shortcut that and come over to multi-shape. We will create a document. 
what we're doing now is uh, building that that raw document underneath. We've opened Excel, loaded our uh, necessary three tables. We've also uh, loaded the um, three default master shapes that we'll use in the solution and now we're writing it out to the page okay let's go over to file open the package for each of these uh, test tasks we create a, a single file called new test which we will overwrite and it shows that if we look at the tree diagram on the left we have the uh, document files, the window files, uh, the pages, the shapes on the page, and we can look at the Visio drawing, and there's our shape, and, and there's the drawing that we've just created. Basically, hello world in a Visio style. Let's close the application for the moment. It'll add a little time later on, but it's worth it. I want to open Visio. The proof of the pudding for each of these is there's a slight difference between how Visio client opens a document and how the Visio ActiveX uh, opens the document. Uh, so the proof is, does the client software open it? And we've opened it up, uh, and we have not gotten an error message. Um, let's step off of this for a second. We're going to go to File. Let's go down to Options. Let's go to Advanced. And one of the things we want to do beyond run uh, in developer mode. Uh -huh. It got reset on me. Show file open warnings. Now what we're going to do right now is we're going to close this and come back at it. And the good news is we got no warnings. Uh, let's uh, close this. Let's reopen our application. Demo, single page, multi shape, add shape data to our drawing. We had to reopen it. We've added our shape data. And while we're at it, let's come back to it. Add a text run. Let's come back to Visio. Now that we've recreated the document, well, we haven't recreated it. We've added shape data to it. We also uh, added the text run on the lower right. Add shape data, add a data graphic, create a data graphic real quickly, select a knit status field, color by value, make net available green, unavailable red. We'll apply it. Come to data graphic, select our data graphic, and apply it to everything. So our data shape, or rather shape data information has been applied to all of our sheets. I'm not going to save that. We'll do one final drawing. We'll create a drawing using master shapes. Adding master shapes to a drawing adds a new, uh, an additional dimension to the developer. 
in that adding sh uh, master shapes to the drawing means that the developer is now responsible for managing all of the shape IDs in all of the shapes. Uh, it also means that we're responsible for um, handling that mapping between the master shape and the shape on the page. Uh, there, there's a couple of notes in there that I've added. Let's go open our package. I will admit up front that's one thing I have not spent a great deal of time on. Our drawings there. And what we have here is, uh, you can see, rather than rectangles, we have shapes, we have routers, we have uh, servers. So we can, in fact, uh, do that manipulation within uh, an XML creation uh, without using Visio APIs. Hope this gives you a heads up on, uh, on starting into it. it. It's a lot of fun to play with. Once again, this is Al Edlund.